in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this crazy photocopy transition in After Effects. So I thought this was a super super cool transition and effect. I've seen a lot of like Photoshop tutorials that have this kind of you know photocopy effect basically and I thought I could make a similar look so it's going to be creating this kind of laggy photo look to your project and I thought it looked super super cool. So that's what I'm going to be showing to you guys today and today I actually updated the Grunge Preset Pack which now includes over 25 presets and they are absolutely incredible i mean they have to be one of the best grunge presets i have seen like just look at them but they look incredible and they're super easy to use just a simple drag and drop into your composition and boom already applied so to check them out it's going to be linked in the description now let's start creating this photocopy transition in after effects so here we're in after effects i have two clips here and the composition settings I'm going to be using are FHD with 24 FPS if you guys want to use the same. And what we're going to be doing here, after you have two clips here, you're going to be dragging the second one later on. And we're going to be having this kind of gap here. And this is where the uh, photocopy transition is going to be. So we can start off by pressing Ctrl D on this uh, clip here. And now we get this whole clip here. and for this uh, random like photos or frames you can either do it manually by adding a new frame on each frame basically or new picture on each frame but i found a super super fast solution to this so uh, in my scenario i have a whole music video attached to this clip like this i basically just you know cut the part uh, I wanted to you know showcase the transition on here so with that I can basically add an effect called random edits here and it's going to look something like this and this is basically going to cut between super many frames here like this and now it looks super laggy because it's like two frames so what I like to do is change the uh, frame length here to one instead it's going to be changing each frame here it's going to look something like this now super super fast which is really nice and to create the photocopy look now i'm going to be adding noise to this and here just increase the noise amount a little bit i'll go to around 30 percent now in the beginning and then add threshold adjust the noise threshold then we can add noise again on top of this 30 percent then i'm going to be adding mosaic to downscale the quality here a little bit so we're going to set it to uh, Let's say 400. That was a little bit too bad quality, so I'm gonna increase it to 600. Now we get this kind of look here. And if you add posterized time, you can drag down the FPS here. So frame rate, set it to 8. So it looks something like this now. Really, really clean photocopy transition now. But if you guys want to get an even better photocopy look here, start off by uh, making these effects invisible like this. And then you can make a adjustment layer, called Y. Make it cover the clip here. And here I'm going to be using my updated Grunge preset pack. And this is going to have some crazy, crazy looks here. So we have the photocopy here, for example, just drag and drop into the adjustment layer. And now when we play it, you get this look here. Super, super clean here. Absolutely amazing. And if you don't like the frames here, for example, go back to your clip here, then just change the seed super easy and the clean transition here and looks super super good like super super nice this and the best part is is that is just one of the new uh, presets from the pack i have a bunch more so if i create a new adjustment layer here covering the transition part here here i could add the uh, deluxe preset here drag and drop and it's creating this super strong flickering grungy look here it looks super super cool and edgy Really, really like that look here. One more cool preset we could drag on is the grain one. Just drag and drop. And it's going to look something like this. A super, super grungy transition look here. Absolutely amazing in my opinion. But yeah, that's how you created this insane cool looking photocopy transition in After Effects. Uh, really, really satisfied with it. And to check out the grunge preset pack, which I used in this uh, tutorial here and showed off these uh, crazy effects off, it's going to be a link in the description. So be sure to check it out. Other than that, take care and have a nice day.